everyone magic flying potato here and i am playing the planet crafter and this is just going to be a new player guide for starting out uh we'll go ahead and take a quick look at what you see on the screen right now the first steps up in the top left corner over there uh those are things that they want you to start off with once you finish that that guide goes away completely so this is really the only time you will see it is right at the beginning of the game down at the bottom left corner are the three key bars that you really need to pay attention to in this game the first one which is the health bar that is technically your food intake um that is not so critical as the the next two down uh so food is gotten at the start of the game from space food and right below you can see you right click to consume it and it'll restore 50 health points don't really need to worry about that as much next one down is water water is critical in this game and uh that drops rather quickly so definitely pay attention to that bar and your oxygen which is right below that that is critical uh, but as of right now if you die you just go back to the last capsule or building that you were in so there's really no um negative effects of dying in this game as of right now making this video the top right corner up Right above me is the Terraform Index. As you can see, it's zero right now. But as you start crafting the equipment to start terraforming the planet, that number will start increasing. If you hit your tab key, this is your inventory. This is the equipment that you are going to use, uh, such as your backpack, mining tools, air tanks, things like that. Okay, something I forgot to add, and I'm gonna, this is recorded later, I'm putting it up at the front of the video is when you first start uh, being at the stage of build that this game is in, it does not have an auto save feature. So you're gonna have to do manual saves. So remember to do manual saves often, because if not, if you find yourself uh, in a spot, in a predicament where you're, you, you can't get out of, or if the game crashes or something and you haven't saved it since the beginning or whatever your last save is, you're gonna lose all the progress that you have made. So make sure you hit your escape key, go in and hit game save and then back into the game. Make sure you do that often. Uh, and so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and craft the first tier one backpack and the tier one oxygen tank, as well as the microchips for construction. So what you need to do is you need to go outside and uh, just something to know, these resources do not respawn. Once you harvest them, let me say, they will not respawn, they will not replenish. They do go into your inventory and they do go into some of your building items or all your building items. Once I get back into the uh, shuttle, I'm gonna go over here, hit the crafting menu. Uh, they want me to craft a tier one backpack, which requires two ar uh, iron, which I picked up outside. So let's go ahead and just craft that. As you can see it crafted. So go ahead, hit your tab key, come in here and just click on it, left click, and it will automatically go into your equipment slot. And as you can see, it increased the amount of inventory that you can carry. Next thing we'll do is create the, the oxygen tier one oxygen tank. Let's go ahead and click on the crafting menu again. And it requires two cobalt. And I have that again. It, it shows you what materials are needed right there, which makes it very easy. So we'll go ahead and that is not what I need. That's the oxygen capsule refill. So if you're running low on air, you just go ahead and pop one of these things and it will refill your air tanks. The air tanks that we're gonna rebuild is right here. Those are the oxygen tank tier one. I need iron and magnesium. And let's go ahead and go outside and grab some of those. Once you get playing, you will start recognizing these rather quickly. Ice is used to make water. Definitely grab ice. Uh, those are the cobalts ice and it, again it just it highlights when you go over them and once you start playing for just a little while you'll understand by vision what each item is go back to this okay so now we have enough we'll go ahead and build a tier one tank there it is go ahead and click on it it puts it into your inventory and now as you can see down at the bottom left your oxygen went from 100 to 145 with that tier one tank now we're going to go ahead and craft a microchip and equip it for construction and we'll start doing the living compartment, living compartment door and dr tier one drill. So the construction is right here. So we're going to need two silicone, two magnesium. And while I'm at it, I am going to go ahead and make one of these as well. So I need magnesium. 
Once you get back, go ahead and click on your crafting station. And right here is the microchip construction. We're going to need that to build bases and everything else. Once you have that built, go ahead, go into your inventory, click on it, and it'll go into your equipment. If it is not in your equipment, if it's in your inventory, you won't be able to build. So make sure it is in your equipment slot. And next thing I'm going to build real quick is the deconstructor. Okay, so I'm going to build the deconstructor chip, which is uh, silicone and magnesium. I'm going to go ahead and craft it. And again, go into your inventory, click on it, and make sure it's in your equipment bar right here. Anything over here out of these items, they will not be usable until you put them into your equipment slots. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build a living compartment, the door, and a drill, and a wind turbine. Just the thing to know before you start going out there, I suggest coming over here, grabbing at least... Eh, I didn't start off with an oxygen tank on this container. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Some of these items are uh, hit or miss, but here's some food. Don't really necessarily need that right away. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make oxygen and water. Always at the beginning of the game, carry an extra, at least one extra oxygen and one extra water. So oxygen requires two of the cobalts. Go ahead and just click it. It goes into your inventory. Same with the water. It requires one ice. Click it. goes into your inventory. Right here they are. They'll sit there. Um, don't click on them as of yet because we do not need them. Uh, and just a, a quick reminder, this these little capsules right here, if you're out gathering or exploring or doing anything, if you are running low on oxygen and you're close to one, instead of popping one of your capsules, if you don't have it, just run back in here and it will fill up to your max oxygen level. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go ahead and build our first living compartment my suggestion is do not build it in this area and i will tell you why in a second but in a, the way to craft is you hit the q button on your keyboard and right here is your construction screen and you can build any of these items that are on the screen if you have the the resources for it. so we need two iron one titanium to build the first living compartment and then an iron titanium silicone to build the living compartment door that's to get in I'm going to get some oxygen real quick and I'm going to go over to an area that is pretty much standard for most people of the game when they first start building. Do not, again, do not build in this area. This whole area right here, later on in the game, once you get to the water portion of your Terra forming index, this becomes a lake. That's why you don't want to build in here because anything you build in here is going to be put underwater and you just don't want to deal with that. Same with these resources. Uh, this is one of the main areas that I suggest farming all the resources out first because once those resources go underwater, you will no longer be able to harvest those resources. So once we're in this location, again, this is the like standard location for building. You could build anywhere, pretty much anywhere in this game. You could even build inside the cave over here. But I'm just going to go ahead and start off right here just to make it a bit easier. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit our Q button, click on living compartment. And as you can see, if you up and down, my oxygen is low. So one of the things I say is why you bring extra oxygen is right there, I am almost out of oxygen. What you need to do is go ahead and go into your inventory and right click your oxygen and it will refill it to 100%. Same with the water, go ahead and right click it once you start getting low and that will refill it 100%. Just keep an eye on that. Make sure you don't run too low. Once you get the warning, you're, if you're not near anything that one of your living compartments, you're pretty much going to die unless you have the oxygen capsule with you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and build the compartment. So go ahead and hit Q, select the compartment. And if you up or down, you could lower or raise it. If it turns red, you can't build it there. The, the mouse button, if you roll it, it will turn it. But it really only has one kind of facing direction, that angle like that. So we'll go ahead and hit L. That will go ahead and craft that. And I need another piece of iron to build the door. And I am running low on oxygen, so hopefully I can go ahead and get this done real quick. There is the, the iron I need it for the door, and I'm just going to pop a door on right here. And once you build this, this thing does not need any type of power in order to replenish your oxygen and save your life. My suggestion is at the beginning of this game, when you're out exploring, make sure you have enough resources to build one living quarter with a door 
out while exploring. This way, when you start running low on oxygen, you just build one real quick, go inside, replenish your oxygen, and uh, they could be used as remote outposts for just that reason. My, that's my suggestion. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is build a tier one drill and a tier one uh, turbine. I'm gonna build a turbine first for power because the turbines do give the uh, everything power for this at the beginning of the game. So if you click on Q, come down here, it just requires one iron. Same with the, the drill requires titanium and iron. So we're gonna go ahead and collect some iron and then build the wind turbine. So once you have enough uh, iron to build it, which is only one, go ahead and click on it. And these can be placed anywhere on the map. Nothing is really connected to proximity. You could build anything anywhere and it's all kind of gridded together, no matter how far it is, as far as I have seen. So if I go ahead and put this windmill up on the hill like this, it doesn't need to be up here. I can put it right on top of my base if I want to. As you can see, I got power restored. So now everything is powered up with that one windmill. And now I'm going to craft a tier one drill, which is right here. Again, these don't have to be placed on anything. They can be placed anywhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here. Uh, if you if you use your mouse button, the scroll wheel, you could turn it. Other than that, you you click L to uh, you click your you click your left mouse button to go ahead and place that. And as you can see, up in the right above me, the terraform index is starting to raise very slightly. As you can see, the the help guide is no longer there. So now everything is completely up to you on what you want to do. So the next things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit Q. We're going to build a crafting station. So the crafting station, the tier two crafting station is right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it in this corner. Right there. And once we build this tier two crafting station, as you can see, there is an exoskeleton. This increase your equipment slot that you have on your on your characters. Let's go ahead and hit tab. As you can see, my equipment slot is already filled up. So if I wanted to build a light or needed some more of these items on my equipment belt, which you will be able to make or find out later on in the game, you need more slots. So that is what the tier one exoskeleton is. So we're, we're going to go ahead and make this. So what you need for uh, the tier one exoskeleton is titanium, silicone, and magnesium. Go ahead and craft it by just clicking on it. Once it's made, go ahead and hit tab into your inventory. And you're going to have to move one of these items out of your inventory first in order to put this in. Uh, this arrow right here just means drop it. Anything you drop on the ground will stay on the ground until you pick it back up. They do not deteriorate as of yet. But what I'm going to do is just click on it. It goes into my equipment belt. And as you can see, I've got four more slots that I could use. So I'll put my, uh, my construction chip back in there. And that is the exoskeleton tier one increase equipment size. If we hit on Q, we're going to go ahead and uh, these screens, this screen right here is important. This screen right here is important. This one... Once you've been playing, not so much. I'd suggest build this one, this one, and then this one. This goes up on the wall. So let's go ahead and build these three right here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to build is the terraform screen, which is this right here. I'm going to place it, turn it, and just place it up on this wall. I'll put it up in this corner right here because there will be another one of these type of screens that will lock unlock later on, which I'll put right next to it. Next thing I want to do is I want to build these little computer screens right here. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on a desk so they're not sitting on the floor. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get some more iron and some more resources for these. So I'm going to go ahead and build this desk real quick. Just put it. You could, you could, you could do this any way you want. This is, this is just the way I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the desk right below this screen right here. And as you can see, it's got no power because I did run out of power. We're going to have to build some more wind turbines, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and place the, these pieces of equipment right here. And also to keep in mind, that's what this screen right here is for. So that's why I suggest building this one first. It will tell you what your current power level is and what is required. So if you click on it, it will show the consumption of what I have built so far is two kilowatts per hour, and I'm only producing 1.2. So that is why all the equipment has turned off. When the equipment turns off, this base still runs. You can still craft things with the crafting station, but your terraform index completely stops. Nothing is moving forward. So what I need to do 
prior to building some more things is I need to go out and build a few more of the wind turbines. As you can see, I went ahead and built four more. So I got a total of five tier one wind turbines. And we'll go ahead and check out our power level right now. So right here, the screens are back on, the lights are back on. As you can see, there's no oxygen being made, no heat, but the pressure is being made by this machine right out there. Not really doing much, so we'll go ahead and start building more in a bit. Uh, so click on the power screen, and now the consumption again is still only two kilowatts, but now I'm producing six. So that will let me start producing more of the items I need to increase this terraform level. So the next screen I'm going to build is the blueprint screen, which is right here. I'm just going to place it on the desk for now, right in this location. So once you place it, it does consume energy. And again, these screens, you cannot see. It doesn't show what's on these screens until you click on them. So I'll go ahead and click on it. This right here, all this is saying is it shows you everything that you're able to um, unlock at certain levels of these different index. So the Terraform index at uh, 300 TI, the Terraform index, I'll unlock the tier two backpack. Once I start building my oxygen uh, levels up, these items right here will start unlocking at the different levels. And also, they also tell you energy required and what they do produce and where they unlock. So like the, for heat, the, the VegaTube tier two, if you look down, it, it produces 1.2 oxygens per second. It uses 1.25 kilowatts per second, and it unlocks at 500 PK. I don't know what PK is, but it unlocks at that, which is the heat index right here. Uh, so these uh, down at the bottom of these, it will tell you what they produce, if anything, how much energy they use, and where they unlock at. So what we're going to do now is we need to build, start building our oxygen levels up and our heat levels. And the way to do that, if you hit your Q key, the Veggie 2 Tier 1 produces oxygen and this heater Tier 1 produces heat. These are both inside equipment. So you're going to have to increase your living compartment in order to start housing the different things that are needed to go inside. So these two right here go inside and we're also going to build uh, a storage container. So I'm going to go ahead and build a few more of these living compartments, which is very easy to do. And I'll show you how right now. There's two ways of building the living compartment. You can do it outside, which makes it a little bit easier to do. So if like I want to place it right here, you can see that that little circle with the link means it's linking to the current, the current location. Uh, if it's red, you can't build it. You could build up. I wouldn't suggest doing that right at the start because you don't have the ladder to get up there. Or you could just build it right next to it like that if you point. And once you once it's green and it's linked and that's where you want it, go ahead and just click the left mouse button and it's built. If you build it over the top of your, your resources, you will not be able to get those resources. So make sure you clear your area first before building the extensions. So you can build the uh, living compartments from inside. So if you go ahead and hit your Q key, it's like living compartment. If you could see that there is the uh, linked icon again right there. So if it is linked and you don't get that red part right there and, you, and you're sure that's where you want to put it outside, go ahead and click it. And as you can see, it just links it up right there. Go ahead and build another one right here. Now I have a uh, four, four compartment living bay, which will give me more room to put the equipment inside that I need. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a veggie tube, which is right here. It requires the iron, ice, and magnesium. And uh, I'll just go ahead and place it in the corner right here. As you can see, it uses 0.35 kilowatts per second. Once you make it and you click on it, if you see this little slot right here, that means you need a vegetable seed to go in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the, the little landing craft that we, um, came down in and there was that that seed in the uh the storage we're gonna go ahead and grab that and put it back in here so i will be right back okay so i am in the, the little uh drop ship that dropped us off and i'm gonna open up my storage crate this button right here you take everything out of it so we don't really need this all this stuff in this container and what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna just deconstruct this uh storage crate which will give me uh one iron back the reason why i deconstructed this one is because we don't need to be in this little uh this little craft right here anymore this is will be used for uh, uh just a quick outpost survival if you need if you need air water and that's pretty much it uh so with that case right there 
it gave us the iron back for it and uh we're gonna go ahead and head back and create the oxygen okay so i'm back at my main base and i'm at the veggie tube so go ahead and uh click on it when you click on it make sure your your equipment tool right there is on the right setting because you do have this light and you do have this deconstruct make sure it's not on deconstruct because you will mistakenly deconstruct what you have currently built and it's very easy to do if you uh were out taking something down and then you wanted to add something inside like the storage so say i was i i, I just deconstructed that chest out there and i went to put the seeds right here into here but i had to deconstruct the icon on it goes ahead takes it apart and being that my inventory is full all these items will fall on the floor so we're going to go ahead and put it back together so make sure and, and also in order to pick items up go ahead and just put it back to your construction tool and as you can see there's a difference the deconstruct you won't you won't get a highlight of anything it won't tell you what it is uh when you're on the construction portion of the tool it will tell you the item so just go ahead and click on them to pick them back up and we're going to go ahead and make the veg tube one again and then we're going to go ahead and place this uh seed lerma into it and we'll click out by escape now if you if you look at it uh just put the little icon those little crosshairs on it down at the bottom it will tell you how much oxygen it is creating now in the kilowatts that is using for this tier one and this plant will start to grow inside the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a heater tier one uh because we, we need to start building heat and so the tier one heater is right here but you see you need iridium there's a, a place right nearby where you get the iridium which is right there uh so we're gonna run over there but i'm gonna make sure i have some backup items so i don't die when i get over there so as i get in here as i said i'm gonna make a outpost inside this place i'm just gonna go ahead and put a living compartment and put a door right there and i could go inside replenish my oxygen this way if i if i don't have a spare oxygen tank capsule on me i could just run into this and this also saves uh saves the hassle of creating oxygen tanks so once we're in here you're going to look for these red glowing uh resources which is iridium and just go ahead and start collecting them and they are all throughout the the area in here you'll see them by the red glow they are on these pillars they are on the ground so just go ahead and pick up as many as you can there is also in here there is aluminum that is also another key thing that you will start needing to get okay so i am in my little outpost that is still in the iridium mine right here so there's two two ways of doing this so i am going to go ahead and uh you need to build the heater tier one to start heating the planet uh and i'm going to just put it in this little outpost that's in the iridium mine the reason why i'm going to do that is because the iridium is right here and I don't have to like run to the cave, grab the iridium, run back to my main base to put the heaters in and, and just keep doing that. So what I'm going to do is just make this my heating outpost. Again, the power grid is enough that it doesn't matter how far away you are. As I've seen right now, I'm not close to my base. I don't have any power uh, windmills over here, but yet you can see that it is powered up and I still have lights and everything on. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make my heating outpost right here in the Iridium cave, which makes it very easy to mine and create more heaters instead of running back and forth. And with that, that is, like I said, this is just to get you started in the game. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you. And uh, as always, you guys have a great time out there terraforming this planet. I am Magic Flying Potato and I am Oot.